So setting up the LTV ventilator, you have to select your tubing. We do have adult tubing and pediatric tubing. The adult tubing is the larger tubing. It is clear tubing. There should be four connections when you take it out. You will have these four connections. You have a larger one and then three smaller ones, which we'll go over how to plug in in just a second here. So to connect to the LTV ventilator, your tubing has four connections. Each one is indicated. They're actually color coded on this one. You have a white, a yellow, a clear, and then your larger tubing. Everything only fits in one selection spot, so you can't really mess anything up. So plug that in. It's easiest if you actually start with the yellow first and twist that on. Make sure these twist in nice and easy. I do the clear one next. And then finally the white one. Once you have those hooked up, you're ready to go ahead and put your settings. In order to connect your oxygen hose from your ventilator to your oxygen source, uh, most of the time when you're picking the patient up, you're obviously going to connect, be connecting it to your portable oxygen source. So your O2 regulator should have the uh, quick connect for your high pressure oxygen source and your oxygen uh, tubing to your ventilator should also have the connection for the high pressure. Um, as long as your regulator is on and secured, your tank is turned on and it has oxygen in it, check for leaks with your high pressure connections. You can check for leaks here and again at the ventilator side. Um, all you have to do is take this and plug it in. You have a couple prongs. Make sure your prongs line up. You plug that in to your oxygen source and you should hear it connect. Um, now your ventilator is hooked up to oxygen. In order to disconnect it, all you have to do is twist this here and it will pop off. All right. And in the actual vehicle, there should be an open wall plug for your high pressure oxygen support. Same thing, you just line the prongs up and you push it in to connect it, to take it off. You just twist to unscrew and it should take, pop off. That's how you connect your vent to oxygen. So now we're gonna go over how to input the settings into the LTV ventilator. So the first step is to turn it on. So there's the on standby button, you just press and hold that and the ventilator will boot up. So it's gonna start asking you some questions in the LCD display here. It's gonna say same patient. We don't often transport the same patient on ventilators, so you're gonna scroll over using your scroll wheel to new patient. Press select. It's gonna ask you for the size of the patient. You have infant, pediatric, and adult. Most of the time we're transporting adult patients. So we're gonna select adult. Now the LTV ventilator defaults into an intubated patient mode, all right? Um, as you can see, we are currently in assist control volume mode, so the items lit up and bright color on the display are the adjustable items for the current mode that we are in. So you can see that we can change tidal volume and breath rate, inspiratory time, our oxygen percentage, etc. So to change a setting on the ventilator, you just select the setting you wish to change. It will highlight just that setting and you will use your scroll wheel to change the setting. So we'll adjust our tidal volume to 550 milliliters. To save it, you select that button again. Same thing over here, we could change our breath rate and select it again to save. Peep is down here in the corner, so you have to adjust your peep. You just select that and change your peep. And once again, select to save. To change modes, we can change between volume and pressure mode just by pressing the select button. It's gonna flash, letting you know you're changing modes. Press it again to confirm you've changed to pressure mode. Now you notice that the volume has gone away and we now have pressure control for our mode. Same thing, you just select it and change the value, press it again to save. In order to use a BiPAP on this ventilator, you would have to scroll through your modes. You can also switch to your SIMV, which we're gonna skip for today, and we're gonna select again to go to our NPPV, non-invasive positive pressure ventilation, which is your BiPAP mode. So you'll select it again to confirm. Now notice it hasn't switched to that mode, but we do have an item that's highlighted. So in order to do BiPAP on the LTV ventilator, it's gonna ask us to put in a couple values. So normally for a BiPAP patient, you have an inspiratory pressure and an expiratory pressure, or IPAP, right? Um, so it's asking us to set our inspiratory pressure. Now, for the LTV ventilator, your inspiratory pressure, the respiratory therapist normally give you a value like 12 over six. 12 being your inspiratory pressure, six being your expiratory pressure. Since the LTV combines the pressures, what you're gonna have to do is subtract. So if we get 12 over six, you're gonna take your 12, subtract it from your six, which is your bottom number, which 12 minus six is six. So we want our inspiratory pressure set at six. So I'm gonna dial this down to six and select it to save. 
and now our bottom pressure, our expiratory pressure, is what it's asking us to set over here with our PEEP, which is what's highlighted. I'm going to dial that up to 6 because our bottom number was 6, right? And select that again, and we are now set in our BiPAP mode. Now, it does have an apnea backup alarm, so if your patient does stop breathing for any reason, it will activate the apnea alarm, and the ventilator itself will take over ventilating the patient. Once again, if your apnea backup alarm is activated, the first thing you should do on your patient is check for a pulse. And if they have a pulse, you're gonna remove the BiPAP mask and start ventilating for them. In order to uh, turn the ventilator off, you're just gonna press and hold the on button. And it will turn the ventilator off. You do have to press the silence button because it's informing you that the ventilator is no longer operable. So if you don't push the silence button, it's going to continue to beep at you. A couple other items I do want to go over real quick on the ventilator, so turn it back on. We'll just select same patient for now. Um, your alarm settings. So you can adjust your alarm settings here. One of them is your high pressure alarm. One of them is your low pressure alarm. So if you're having high, high, alarm, high pressure uh, alarm issues, you can adjust these. Normally you get your alarm settings from the respiratory therapist, from the facility you're picking the patient up from. Um, or what you can do is watch where your patient's normal um, pressure is for a breath, and then you can adjust your alarms based on that. All right, now that you're, now you've obtained your settings from respiratory, you've inputted those settings into your ventilator, we're now gonna go ahead and connect our patient to our vent. So you're gonna need your HEPA filter, you're gonna need your capnography, and you're also gonna need a BVM as backup just in case. Go ahead and grab your circuit, take your capnography, screw the capnography into the monitor first, this way it zeroes out. Once it's zeroed, go ahead and connect your capnography, take your HEPA filter, and attach your filter, just like that. Go ahead and disconnect the, patient, the hospital circuit from the patient, and go ahead and connect your circuit to the patient. Your patient is now being ventilated through our ventilator.